AWS Firewall Manager allows you to centrally configure and manage firewall rules across accounts and applications. And AWS services uh, that can be managed under the service would be AWS WAF, WAF Classic, Shield Advance, Security Groups, Network Access Controls, uh, AWS Network Firewall, Amazon Repity 3 Resolver DNS Firewall. And no, there's not a double A in here. That's just my mistake. I apologize. Cross that out. Um, and third-party firewall services. And the interesting thing about the service is that when you go to configure any of these, uh, it's completely different. So like this is an example for, for security groups and it shows you some policy rules that you can select. But this thing is wildly different based on each service that you are creating a, um, a rule for. This service is, uh, I would describe as expensive. At least I don't want to spin one up uh, in the lab because uh, Baker would be like, why are you spending $50 for, uh, you know, such a simple rule? But we do go and look at how they vary and things like that, even though we don't actually create a rule in the lab. There are some prerequisites here. So your account must be a member of the AWS organization. Your account must be the AWS Firewall Manager Administrator. You must have AWS Config enabled to, uh, for your accounts in a region. Um, and you might need to have RAM enabled as well for specific uh, security firewall services. I suspect that when you use a service, it's creating AWS config roles. I'm noticing that there's a lot of security services where AWS will just leverage AWS config underneath and make a layer on top of it and then charge an ungodly amount. Uh, so I almost feel like you could just make AWS config roles if you really wanted to um, uh, enforce uh, compliance for specific configurations, but this is a service. So yeah, there you go.